Welcome to this video tutorial giving a short introduction into ABAP Manage Database Procedures in ABAP on HANA as of SAP NetWeaver Application Server ABAP 7.4 Service Package 5. First of all, let me put a context to this topic. The current optimized way for using HANA procedures in ABAP is provided by means of database procedure proxies, which were introduced with the application ABAP 7.4 Service Package 2. In this so-called bottom-up approach, a database has first to be developed in the HANA server and then exposed as database procedure proxy in the ABAP server to ensure that dependent ABAP and HANA content is transported together, a HANA delivery unit and a HANA transport container are required. As we can see, this approach involves the problematic of having different independent lifecycle and transport management systems for dependent HANA and ABAP content. Also, no extensibility mechanism to handle customer changes is provided. A solution for this cumbersome approach is provided by means of the ABAP Managed Database Procedure, short AMDP, a class-based framework for managing and calling database procedures in ABAP. This so-called top-down approach enables developer to create and manage the whole life cycle of HANA procedures in an ABAP development environment. The AMDP is implemented as a method of a global class, which is marked with specific interfaces, a so-called AMDP class. And the corresponding SQL-based HANA procedures is created at the first call of the method. One of the benefits of this approach is that only the AMDP class has to be transported with the standard ABAP transport mechanism. No HANA delivery unit and no HANA transport container are involved in this process. Developer only needs the ABAP development tools for implementing the AMDP. There is no need for an additional HANA development user or for the SAP HANA Studio. An example of an AMDP class definition is displayed on the screen. It is a public class. The marker interface for the SAP HANA database platform has to be specified. Whether a method of an AMDP class can be implemented as AMDP method or not depends on the definition of its parameter interface. The parameters have mainly to following prerequisites. Exporting, importing, and changing parameters are allowed. Methods with returning parameters cannot be implemented as AMDP. Additionally, the method parameters have to be tables or scalar types and have to be passed as values. In the present example, the method process cannot be implemented as AMDP because the parameters are not passed as values but as references. Concerning the method execute, it meets all the AMDP prerequisites and therefore can be implemented either as an AMDP method or as a regular ABAP method. AMDP methods follow the usual ABAP object-oriented rules. They can be public, protected or private and they can be implemented as interface methods. Let's now check how the implementation looks like. An AMDP method has to be specified with the keyword by database procedure, followed by the database platform and the database language to be used for implementing the procedures. Database specific options can be specified and a using clause specifying the names of other AMDP methods, ABAP dictionary views and tables used in the AMDP source. The AMDP method is a container for SQL script based code. Before closing this video, let me go through some aspects of working with AMDP. 
Static code check and syntax coloring is provided for embedded SQL script. For a better visibility of AMDP methods in a class, you can set a background color for SQL script, which is an embedded language here. You can access other AMDP methods, ABAP dictionary and ABAP tables in an AMDP method. AMDP methods are called like regular ABAP methods. Well, like any other ABAP methods, an AMDP call might fail and the failure is stressed in transaction ST22. The extensibility mechanism, such as modification and enhancement of regular ABAP classes are applicable. This is the end of this video. I'll refer you to the video Implementing ABAP Managed Database Procedure in HANA. If you want to see a demonstration about how an AMDP is implemented, I will refer you to the video Implementing ABAP Managed Database Procedure in HANA. This is the end of this video. For more information, guides and tutorials, please visit our homepage on SCN.